Good morning, Philip Blair, Torch of Christ Ministries. I want to talk to you today about life at the bottom of the pit. I know what it's like to be at the bottom, to have darkness surround you every moment of every day, to look for answers in every aspect of life, to try to be a good person, to do your best, and no matter what happens, no matter how successful you become or the accomplishments of your life that begin to stack up, you still feel miserable. There's no peace at the bottom of the pit. There's no light in your soul found in this dark place. And it hurts. The aching, the groaning of your soul is so loud. Endlessly you're trying to climb out but there's no grip for your fingers. And even though your soul is restless, there's no escape. And eventually, you stop trying to get out. And life begins to normalize at the bottom of this vast darkness. And yet, I want you to know that in my darkest day, when I was at the bottom, when I felt like I had nowhere else to go, the hope seemed so very far away. God rescued me. You can't climb out of the pit. That's the first lesson that we have to understand. From the beginning of time, man has been trying to do things himself. And we make a mess of life. If we're in control, we make terrible decisions. We're selfish and greedy, prideful and stubborn. And we don't listen. We don't follow instructions. Even from the beginning, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden, we have disobeyed God and gone astray and run into rebellion. But if you want out of this pit, you have to understand that you cannot do it on your own. You have no strength or ability to climb out. There is power in surrender. When you decide, I can't do it anymore. I'm done. I quit. I give up. And you give everything over to Jesus Christ. You say, God, help me. I surrender. I give my heart to you. I can't overcome sin in my own strength. I can't stop smoking. I can't stop doing the drugs or drinking the alcohol or abusing my kids or cheating on my wife. Whatever it is that you're doing, God will give you the ability through being born again and his spirit living in you to turn away from evil and wickedness and he will purify your soul and he will save you and he'll bring you the wicked sinner that you are, that I once was, he will bring you from the bottom of that pit. He'll rescue you, breathe life into your soul, and set you on a rock. And you can know every day that there is hope. And every morning you can see the sun rising over the horizon. And you can know who is in control of every minute of every moment. You can know that God is taking care of you because you're his child. You're not a street orphan. You're not abandoned or forgotten. He'll wrap you in a robe of righteousness, set you at his table. You can eat with him and dine with him, ask anything of him, and he will be faithful to you. But it starts with surrender. Let him pull you up out of that dark, vast pit and breathe life in you and give you hope because we all need it. Jesus is coming back. Now is the time.